Alright, there it is. We're good. Okay, we should be live. What is up everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you guys here. I'm on my 30th project! Woohoo! Super stoked to be here and on my 30th project. Just gonna tag everyone in Discord. Come hang if you want. Let's see. Boom. Hit send. Let me mute this over here. And we should be good. All right, I think my audio is good. I want to see who's here. If you are here and you're watching, please say hi. I want to see who's here um, and just talk, hang out. Let's go have some fun. Uh, Michael Welt says, glad you got the internet fixed. Yes, me too. And not only did I get my internet fixed, uh, I got an ethernet to this computer now. So I'm stoked. My internet is so fast. It is so freaking fast. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, let's just do a fun little... While, while we're waiting for people to get here, hold on. Um, inter, internet speed. How did I, oh, wow, this is crazy. Sorry, a little meta down here. All right, internet speed, guys, watch this. Ready? Look how fast this is. Oh, I'm doing slow right now, I think, because I'm streaming. I'm not too bad. It's, it's going up. It's going up. That's not too bad. That's pretty fast right there, right? Yeah, 578. And look at that. I'm almost a 700, guys. My internet is so much better. All right. We got Kicha. We got Kamakshi. We got Jeffrey. What is up? We got Ramya. We got Shubham. Shubham, I miss you. How are you, brother? Good to see you. We got Alejandro in Colombia. We got Michael. What's up? And we got uh, Alan. What's up, guys? How is it going? I appreciate all y'all. Um, I'm doing great, Shubham. I just am finishing up doing... 30 projects in 30 days. If you guys haven't checked it out, you guys probably wouldn't be here. But check this out, guys. We got lots of project videos that you guys can go check out. Um, and I'm doing the last one on the live stream. And you guys are going to help me do it. Okay? So I'm super excited about that. Because over the next two hours, I, I've set aside the next two hours to just be on stream and just hang out with y'all. So, um, yeah, come come hang out. Come say hi. Um and help me build this project if you'd like. I honestly have planned zero. I've planned zero so far for this project. So like the best part is we can do whatever you guys want. So I can see, let's see. I think I can see how many people are watching. Uh, we only get, we got 15 people here right now, guys. So not too many, but hey, those 15 of you guys, I appreciate you guys uh, being here. So. Um, let's let's just do this YouTube live stream and let's build a project together. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Okay. So with the 50 people here, I need your guys' help. Please tell me what project we should do. I'm literally an open book. Um, I'm literally going to build whatever you guys want to build. So if there's something that you're interested in, now is the time to let me know. Chat, put it in there. Say what you want to what you want to build a project on. Do we want to build it on? Sports, do you want to build it on marketing? Do you want to build it on HR? Do you want to build it on engineering? Do you want to build it on, uh, maybe you want a job in accounting. Maybe we do an accounting project. Maybe we do um, one about uh, books. Maybe we do some books or maybe we do, I don't know, whatever you guys want. So I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff in the chat. Give me a suggestion, guys, and I'll make a poll for now. But, but, but put your suggestions in the chat right now so I can make a poll. Um, all right, we got finance. What project should we do? All right, we got finance is the first option. What's our next option, guys? Uh, accounting or baseball would be cool. Engineering with sensor data, marketing. All right, all right, this is awesome, guys. Let's see, um, let's see. Uh, engineering with sensor data, marketing. Do a project about your YouTube channel to see if the 30 days has had impact. The 30 days has, has it had an impact. I, so that, anyways. We could, I thought about doing that. That I thought it might be kind of meta. Um, could be interesting though. We'll have, we'll have to see. The the YouTube API is not super easy to use, so I might I might buy away from that one. Oh, but Jeff's into it too. Crap, we got two votes for that. Forecasting. Um, okay, so let's see. Accounting, baseball. All right, Shubham likes the the YouTube too. Crap, guys. The YouTube keys. API is not easy to use. We can try it again though. Uh, based on investment analytics, main stack, st stock. I know I wasn't gonna do one about stocks. It didn't end up happening. Marketing or football since the season is starting. Okay, I like that JB. I see you JB. 
Okay, so I'm gonna we have lots of good options. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys vote. We're gonna have sports. We're gonna add YouTube and I'm gonna try to figure it out. I'm trying to think if I have a plan B. I do have a plan B. So we could do YouTube. I'll put that in there. Um, okay, let's see. Um, so I think we're gonna do either sports, YouTube, marketing, or let's do, I didn't really do a whole lot on, uh, Jeff's here though, and I like engineering. I don't think I did enough on finance. So maybe we'll do finance slash stock, okay? Maybe we'll do finance slash stock. Okay, that's 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 the four options. I'm putting a poll in the chat now. You guys can vote, okay? You guys got like a couple minutes to vote on what we want to do, okay? Sports, YouTube, marketing, finance, or stock. Um, and let me just send another message to uh, my Discord. Are choosing what project to build if you want to have a say send now okay let's see what's up what what are you guys saying where, where do i see oh, okay we got sports at 50 percent is what i'm seeing right now what else we got how do i how do i see this poll we got 11 votes come on guys there's 25 of you guys watching press the poll button right now make some votes looks like looks like sports is still winning Come on, 11 votes. There's 26 of you guys watching. That means 15 people of you guys have not voted. Vote, vote, vote. All right, I'm ending the poll in 10, 9, 8, 7. Hurry and vote, guys. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. All right, I'm ending the poll. 10 of you guys didn't vote. It's fine. All right, what well, one? How do I see? How do I see? I don't even know how to use YouTube. Guys, teach me how to use YouTube. Um, and poll. Guys, can you see? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, sports won. <laughs> wow, I did not see sports winning. All right, do the two highest. Shalish, you're crazy. Doing two projects in two hours. That's only something I could do, I think. Just kidding. I, that, that is really hard to do two, two projects in two hours, though. Um, it looks like sports was one, and then stock and finance was two. So we'll do sports. Okay, we're gonna do sports. Um, so that's fine. I love sports. So and everyone loves sports. So let's do it. I see Dustin's in the house. What's up, Dustin? Dustin Scheimek, guys, go go follow Dustin. He's doing a lot of cool stuff. Uh, project about the NBA draft picks to see if the Utah Jazz made the right decision. Alejandro, you're following. I love it. Yeah, for those who don't know, I live in Utah. The Utah Jazz just did a huge trade where we traded away our two best players for a bunch of future draft picks. So that, that could be interesting to do. I like that a lot. Uh, okay, Kamakshi says US Open. Do a little bit of, oh wait, that's tennis, right? Wait, is that tennis or is that golf? Or is it both? Um, I know that there's the US Open, I think, for tennis right now, right? Isn't that what Serena Williams is playing in? Um, okay, sweet. Let's see. We had some other, uh, oh, Jeff said disc, disc golf stats. That's pretty fun. Also, shout out to Michael. Also just bought the Data Science Project Studio. Super good stuff. I appreciate that, Michael. For those who haven't joined, I'd, I'd love to just give you guys a little sneak preview, okay? Basically, what Project Studio is, this is, this is the URL that you'll go to. Um, but let me show you what the course actually looks like inside just to give you guys a little bit of a sneak preview of what it looks like because it's awesome. Okay, so here's Data Science Project Studio. I'm just going to be straight up. This is a 0% technical course. I'm not gonna teach you SQL, I'm not gonna teach you Python, I'm not gonna teach you Excel. What I am going to teach you is how to have an amazing portfolio, build it with tons of projects and improve uh, your chances of getting hired at really cool companies. You're gonna blow recruiters' minds with the stuff you build inside of Project Studio. So just so you guys know, just so you guys get a feel, basically the beginning, I'm gonna teach you what a project is. There's a bunch of checklists inside of here. So for instance, here's like how to build a project checklist kind of right here what you should be aiming for, what hobbies, you know, some companies you'd like to work for. This is gonna help you get a start to what, what you wanna build. Um, there's gonna be a brainstorming tool. So like basically take all the stuff and brainstorm a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna give you a bunch of project ideas and I'm, I'm adding the actual like tutorials on how to do them as I go. But here's like a bunch of project ideas. Some of them are from this series, some of them are not. Um, one of my favorite parts is the million data set. 
uh, catalog. Where is that one at right here? This is like over a million data sets that you could possibly use in different like scenarios. So for instance, we're doing sports. So we might be looking at the sports data set section based on what sport we choose right here. We might use one of these data sets. I don't know. Kind of depends um, what's going on. So, okay. Anyways, that's, that's my pitch. Um, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw this in the chat real fast. Uh, I would love to have you guys in there. No pressure though. You definitely don't have to, but um, here's, here's project studio. I'm, I'm liking it a lot. All right. Let's see what else we got. Um, do, 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 tennis. Okay. <clears throat> Show why empty seats don't deserve money. That would be kind of pretty interesting. I like that first last. I like that a lot. Um, I liked what other questions or uh, Michael was just a baseball one would be cool. He said, and I think JB said, football since the season's starting something like that okay okay Whew. okay let's do another poll <clears throat> um do another poll right now guys now we've narrowed it down to sports let's narrow it down to what type of sport um just maybe maybe we'll switch it up because i have done inside of this i did do an mba project right here which is pretty pretty good project pretty fun project did i do any other sports projects I did not. Okay. So yeah, we haven't done any other sports projects. Okay. So let's, I love basketball. I love basketball with all my heart. I love basketball, but maybe let's switch it up. Maybe let's not do basketball. So I'll make, I'll make another poll. We'll, we'll, we'll get some sports. What sports do we want to do? Do, do, do. Let's see. Um, we're going to do another poll guys. What sport? And we're either gonna do uh, baseball, because I like I like baseball has lots of good data. We could do football. I kind of hope we choose football. Um, I saw that we could do um, tennis. Tennis is a sport I have not really looked at, which could be really cool. Um, or or I'm gonna throw one in for my boy Jeff. Um, we're, we're I'm just gonna say golf, and maybe that is uh, frisbee golf. Wait, yeah, that's what it's called, right? Or, or Frisbee. Yeah, okay. Or golf. All right. Tennis, golf, football. All right, we'll do golf slash Frisbee. I'll give both of those. I don't know. Those sound cool. He says, the AUDL has a lot of data that can be pulled from their site. Hey, I like that. I like that. I like lots of data. All right, I'm just sending out the second poll. So, oh, cricket. Cricket's a good one. I don't know anything about cricket, though. So, gosh, why won't this poll go through? Do you guys see the poll yet? I don't see the poll. I don't know why it's happening. Let me try refreshing the page. I don't think the poll went through. I think the poll's busted. All right, one more quick poll. Okay, uh, sport, baseball, football, tennis, or we'll do uh, golf slash frisbee. One of those, those two. All right. Yeah, it would be MLB data. All right, there we go. Now vote, 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 vote. We got 28 people watching. Once it gets to 15 votes, I'll stop, all right? So vote quick. Ultimate Frisbee, MLB, no, not yet. Nope, pull is up. Yep, all right, vote, vote, vote. Uh, yeah, that would be interesting. I've done one baseball project before that was, was pretty cool. I've never actually talked about it. It was for a school project. It was MLB pitching data and hitting data, I guess. It was a pretty cool one. Um, football. I've never done a football project. And by the way, football is American football. I would love to do a soccer project too, but not, no one had mentioned soccer. Golf is so boring. Let's at least make it interesting with a project. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, my buddy, my buddy, Ken G, that's like his day job. He is, he does golf analytics all day long. So that's cool. All right. We're ending the, we're ending the poll already. Here we go. And poll. Let's see what one drum roll, please. Football. All right, good. I wanted to do football. Sorry, tennis. Sorry, baseball. You were outvoted. Let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do football. All right. So for football, let's, let's talk about a couple things. So one, when I'm starting a project, I'm kind of choosing, I'm choosing my project always after two things. And I, and I talk about this in, in project studio. In fact, I'll just, sh I'll give you guys some more sneak peeks. This is like, since you guys are here and you're supporting me, you're getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of the course. So, um, 
When you're building a project, there's only two reasons to build it. It's You always want to aim to building a project you're going to finish. And the ones you're finished are the ones you're motivated to do. So the ones you're motivated to do are either going to be about a hobby you love or a job or an industry you're really interested in. So you might love watching the NFL, and so you might select to do an NFL project. Or you might want a data job in the NFL, and so you're going to do a, a, an NFL project. Or, or, I guess, college football, too. So um, whenever you're choosing a project, it should be about a hobby or a job you're interested in. In this case, we are choosing, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe we want the job. I would love to be in the NFL, a data scientist in the NFL. Kind of, not really, but I think it'd be cool. And maybe some of you guys want to do that, at least. So let's pretend like we're going to try to get a job in the NFL, all right? So that's the first thing. Um, one of the next things we need to do is, is find uh, a good data set and try to think what would be interesting. And in terms of like um, data, do I talk about this? Hold on, let me see. No, not really. Okay. Um, but we have a couple things. For American football, uh, we have uh, college football data. We have two resources here. And then we have pro football reference right here. This is inside of uh, the Project Studio. So I'm gonna click on this and remind myself what it is. Yeah, this is like basketball reference. This is football reference. And this is one of the, the best places to have, there's so much data. I've actually never used this one before, but there's so much data. So, okay, we, we have this uh, resource right here available to us. The other thing I would tell you whenever you're doing a project is think about like what projects have been done in this space before. And one thing that's, that's, uh, that's really cool and I need to add this inside of Project Studio, is every year there's something called, let me find the place to put this. Let's see, let's see, I'm gonna put it, we'll put it here. Every, every year there's something called the Big Data Bowl, okay? And you know, all college football is all about um, bowls, right? Football has bowls, I don't know. But this is something that's really cool. Um, I didn't even realize this is put on necessarily by the NFL. But uh, every year, the NFL puts on the Big Data Bowl. And it's basically, it's just like a hackathon, kind of, with NFL data. Um, that's really cool. And you can see up here that more than 30 Big Data Bowl participants have been hired in data analytics roles in sports. So if you participate in the, if you want to get a sports job, the Big Data Bowl is something that you definitely want to participate in. What is the mentorship program? Oh, this is cool. I don't know, I don't know enough about this. Wow, look at the, apply to the 2023 Bull Mentoring Program, deadline September 7th. That is like in five days. Mentors and matchees. Wow, this is cool, guys. This is very cool. I didn't even know this existed. So, okay, there you go. That's awesome. Um, there's a video gallery. There's a 2021 recap. The fourth annual was in 2022. Blah, blah, blah. There's like a show you can check out, presentations you can check out. This stuff is cool. So um, I know I would love to like see last year's. Let's just do last year's. I think that would be really good. All right, I'm checking in with you guys. I'm talking a lot. I don't see much going on in the chat. What's going on in the chat, guys? How are we doing? Are we alive still? I can see the chat over here. So just be talking to me because I'm going to get bored otherwise. All right. I don't want to just talk to nobody for like two hours. All right, big data bullet is, all right? So, um, oh wait, I'm showing my YouTube, that's not good. All right, um, big data bull. Okay, so let's try to find the competition for this. I thought, okay, here's the finalists, video gallery. Yes, I thought this was on Kaggle. They hosted on Kaggle. Um, so here's the analytics competition. Um, all right, Dustin says this is going to be fun. I, I hope so, Dustin. So uh, here is the data bowl provided the NFL's next gen stats tracking from the 2018 to 2022 or 2020 special teams plays. All right, that's something that doesn't get a whole lot of love in, in uh, football special teams. Location information for each team's for each special teams player whenever they are on the field and includes their speed, acceleration, and direction. Okay, so think about it. Special teams, that's going to be like field goals. But the thing that I think about is punts. So think about punts. You know, you, you're, it's fourth down. You got to get rid of the ball. You punt it. There's going to be a receiving team, and there's going to be lots of blocking going on. So this looks like it's going to have player speed, acceleration, direction. Hopefully a location as well. I don't know. 
Um, you can also utilize scouting data from PFF. I don't know what PFF is. So let's go find out. Oh, wow. PFF is like daily fantasy. Is that what that is? I don't know what PFF is still. Anyone know what PF, P, PFF is? All right, Jeff. See you later. This is the best part, watching you find the data. Oh, I'm glad you like this, Michael. I appreciate that. It's it's always a challenge to find good data sets. Um, and I'm, I'm still not entirely sure if we even like this data set. Sometimes you like will find a data set and you have to really get into it before you're like, oh, this is good or this is bad. So um, NFL is the most... With your creativity and analytical skills, the development of these new methods could lead to additional stats for special teams plays. If successful, your effort may even be adopted by the NFL. Ooh, that'd be cool. For on-air distribution, you can watch future games knowing you had a hand in improving America's most popular sports league. That would be so cool. That would be awesome. All right, Alejandro says pro football focus. Okay, thanks. Is that like extra stats? I don't even know what that is. They mention it all the time on... on on Undisputed. That's so funny. Undisputed, if you guys don't know, is a show on Fox that has Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. It's a very interesting and unique dynamic. I'm more of an ESPN guy, but uh, I like Undisputed. It's not bad. So this was, this was, uh, let's see, can I still do this? Hold on. Let me make sure. Okay. I understand and agree. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Okay, cool. So a couple things. Um, Let's see what else it talks about. Um, you'll quantify what happens on special teams plays. You might create a new special teams metric, quantify team or individual strategies, rank players, or even something we haven't considered. Okay, cool. So very open-ended, right? This is a, this is very open-ended project. Um, and, and just a couple things. So the evaluation here, um, it's generable, actionable, practical, and novel insights for players. So the, what we're, what the, like the, the thing that they're asking for is just to give them something interesting, okay? It could be a new metric. It could be strategy. It could be players, um, rank ranking players, stuff like that. Um, and this is how they're going to score, just basically on how cool, how innovative, how accurate, how relevant, how clear it is. So that's fine, okay? By the way, this is $100,000 if you win. I'm going to participate. That's like... That's like a lot of money. Next year, I'm going to win, guys. Who wants to be on my team next year? We're going to win. I'm going to like, yeah, we're going to do this next year for sure. This is a dope competition. Okay, timeline. Wow, it started in September? Wow. So this is not like a hackathon the way that I think of it. Because you have October, November, December. To work on it. you have three months that's like a fourth of the year that is crazy but you, oh prizes is, is a hundred thousand total so you can win fifteen thousand dollars basically okay okay great so it's very open-ended they're just like hey tell us something interesting um looks like we have pff scouting data oh wow oh this is like this is like uh the snap time and operation time and hang time. Oh, wow. The kick type, the kick direction, the kick direction actual, the return. Let's just select all of these. The return, what did that say? Return direction, missed tackler, assisted tackler, tackler, kickoff return four, Oh, formation. Gunners. Wow, this is very detailed. Yeah. Punch rushers. Special teams. Safety? Vises. Kick contact type. Okay, I don't know a ton about all of that stuff, so we'll have to figure that out. Oh, here's some file descriptions. All right, I'm seeing some, um, some stuff. That is a lot of money. It'll be an awesome project to compete for. Yeah, for sure. That's more than I make in a year. Yeah, exactly. That is a ton of money. Um, could show how many of the athletes have a majority of their money after five years. And if not, where did it go? That's true. That's always an interesting one. Like a, like a little data journalism piece on NFL like salaries and how they spend it. I don't know how you'd get that data set necessarily, but that would be cool. Um, all right. So we're looking at the PFF scouting data, play level scouting information for each game. 
okay? Then we have the game data, which is gonna be when the game was. The play data, which is like when the play was. Looks like you have like the kicker and where it was at and stuff like that. You have the player data and then you have the tracking data, yas. The X and the Y and the player location, okay? And the speed and the acceleration the distance, orientation, direction, jersey number. Okay, cool stuff like this. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is the scouting data. Okay, and has like the type of the kick and stuff like that. Okay, cool, that's awesome. Very cool. Okay, guys, this is an awesome data set. I really like this data set. I think we could do some cool things with it. So here's what I'm thinking right now. We basically have the X and Y data of like the play, that's one thing. Okay, we have the X and Y data of the play. Okay, so just think about that, we have that. We have what type of kick it was. We have the player's information, could be interesting. And our, we know we're trying to get an NFL job, we're trying to win this competition. So we're just trying to come up with something interesting. There's nothing like, that's very open-ended, we just have to come up with something interesting. And we have an hour and a half. So, crap. <laughs> Not a ton of time for this project. So, um, I'm opening it up to you. What, what, what ideas do you guys have based off of this? Um, can't promise I'll take any of them. But, like, when you think about some of this, uh, some of this stuff, what, what, what is interesting to you? The first thing that comes to mind is I've done a project similar to this before. You know, your prior experience is useful. Um, so, for example, one of the projects I did a long time ago, I'll pull up my portfolio here, bum, 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 was very similar. It was NBA player tracking. So this was XY data for the NBA players. And I kind of like pretend like you dip their f feet in ink, what would it look like? And uh, this is kind of what it would look like. And I, I eventually made these cool, oh, it's not here. I made kind of cool animations. I don't know why the animations aren't here. Huh. But yeah, I made some cool animations that was like almost like you were watching the play as a bird's eye view and seeing what would happen. So we could do that. That'd be pretty easy to do. That'd be kind of cool. We could probably make it so it's a streamlit app. So it could be published, anyone could use it. And you choose like the game and choose like the punt and you could like watch it from a bird's eye view. Thoughts? That could be, it'd be like an animated data viz hosted on a Streamlit app. That could be cool. I've done a lot of data visualization and I, I'll tell you why. Data visualization is the easiest thing to make projects on. It looks good. It's easy to do. It requires the, less, the least amount of coding usually. So I feel like it's kind of basic. Okay, but Austin says sounds fun. Mixing up location with acceleration can bring up something cool. Okay. Tell me more about that, Shubham. What are you thinking there? We do have the acceleration data. That is that is part of it for sure. All right, Alejandro says sounds cool too. Maybe I'm too harsh on myself sometimes, guys. I've built 30 projects, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, and honestly, the McDonald's project is my is my favorite one. It's hard to beat that one. I, all the other ones I don't care about as much. The, NF, the McDonald's one was so much fun. All right, people like the acceleration. All right, let's look at the acceleration. So we have the direction and the acceleration here. That could be interesting. Let me think about how to do that. All right, we're going we're gonna to do it. It's just the first thing that came to my mind, and I know it's something I could do in an hour and a half, okay? Yeah, I think it's something we could do in an hour and a half. I think we could do other cooler things that are like more data science-y, because really at the end of the day, all I'm going to be doing is programming in Python and doing a data visualization in Plotly. It's not very data science-y, but it's very, it'll, it'll be easier to do. And I think if I want to do something data science-y, it would just take me longer. And to be honest, I'm already like, like my, my, my voice is going out already. So, and I'm hungry. I didn't eat lunch yet. Okay, we're going to do this. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tracking data, which has, let's just make sure, it has the game ID, the play ID. Yeah, okay. So it has all of that. The question is, do those look good? 
For a human to read, probably not, if I had to take a guess. So let's take a look and see if I can find that. So that's going to be, oh yeah, we have all the years too. Maybe we'll just focus on one year. So here's the X, here's the Y. Show all the columns here. Hit apply. Okay, so on average, how much a player sprints before passing the ball? Just a long shot. Yeah, that would be that would be really cool too. Let's see. So we have the display name. I don't know what that even is. There's a lot of interesting. Okay. We have the jersey number. We have the position. We have home or away. Okay. So we need to at least, like, I'd love to have, like, the team names. So I already know I'm going to need to do a join on the tracking data with, I think, the games data, which is going to have the home team and the visiting team. So at least I'll be able to have those. I still wish it was a little, what about, wait, what is the plays? Do we, oh, this is the play description. Oh, that could be cool to do, have that shown. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a combine on the data set, that's for sure. So we're gonna join one of the tracking years, the plays data. Uh, do we want the players data? Let's think, because they're on the tracking. What is there here? I don't think there's anything. Is there? I mean, it would be hard to have all the player IDs, right? So let's see. Let's just try one more time. Oh, wait. Why can't I see the columns? I don't want zero. I want all of them. Apply. There we go. So let's see. We have the X. Oh, wow. I also just realized. Okay, yeah, I just realized something as well, but that's fine. We'll make it work. I don't think there's any need for the player data unless we're going to use the scouting data. The scouting data could be useful too. Okay, maybe we'll combine everything, okay? We'll have to combine all this data sets. But before, but before we combine it, let's just make the minimal viable product, okay? Because combining it is just going to take a little bit of time. It's not going to take a ton of time. But I kind of suck at combining stuff sometimes, so it might just be faster to not combine. Like, it might just take me time to combine. So let's not combine. Let's build a minimal viable product. Let's get it up and loaded. So that way, like, we at least have something. Because that's, like, one thing. Like, the best data science project you guys can finish is the one – or the best pro data science project you guys can do is one you finish. And if we just lower the bar for finishing it, it's going to be easier. And we can always go back and add to it. You can always make it better. But if it's not published ever, no one ever cares, okay? All right, cool. So I, I have a plan. We're going to do this, all right? So the I have we have the data set. We know we're trying to impress an NFL team. We know we want to build some sort of a streamlit app that basically shows the plays as they go, okay? So let's just start minimal viable product, okay? Here we go. So I'm going to start coding. Uh, I'm going to create a new folder. Um, we'll call it day 30. Here, day 30, and we'll call it big data bowl. Okay. I'm just going to open that up. It's going to be blank. To do this, I'm building a Streamlit app. <clears throat> so I want to use an IDE that lets me use Streamlit well. I'm just gonna use spider. It's what I'm most comfortable in. And when I'm live coding, it's nerve wracking already because I suck at coding. So it's good to have uh, something I feel more comfortable in. And uh, it'll work great. And the other thing we need, bum, bum, bum. Okay, I'm gonna save this. And we're gonna save it in the day 30. We'll call it app.py, okay? Because it's going to be a Streamlit app. So I know I'm going to use Streamlit, so I'm going to import Streamlit as ST, okay? Um, and then I'm just going to start actually making the Streamlit app just so I can get a feel for how it is. Uh, I think we're going to call this the, the special the special plays viewer. 
that's kind of a dumb name, but whatever. All right, and then maybe just put some text below it and just say, this web app lets you view special teams plays and gives you extra insight. Okay, I'm gonna hit save. Now I'm gonna hit run, <clears throat> which isn't actually really gonna do anything, but it gives me, well actually that doesn't ever work for me. So I'm just gonna go prompt. We're gonna open up Anaconda prompt so I can open up a terminal with a good Python base in it. I'm gonna CD to this location. Okay, I'm gonna hit ls dir, sorry. And then we're gonna hit streamlet run app.py. <clears throat> Holy crap, my voice is going out. Okay, then it launches a streamlet app for us and here's our streamlet app. We're already done guys. We did it, we built the streamlet app. Woo, see that's why I love streamlet. Is you have a working web app in like one second. So easy, so easy. Gotta turn my fan on, it's getting hot in here. Okay. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Can I get some W's in the chat or something like that, guys? Because we're already we've already built a streamlet app. Do, do, do. Okay, just looking at some other stuff. Do, do, do. Okay, cool. We're good. Um, okay, so next minimal viable product, trying to get this done as fast as possible. We actually need. All right, Austin, I love it. Nice, I love it. Um, all right, so uh, to get some, what should I call it? We gotta get some data. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Let's get to here. And I'm only gonna do one season, I think. I'm kind of just lazy. We could definitely do more seasons, but let's start with the minimal viable product of just one season, okay? 2020 is the most recent season, so let's do that. I'm gonna download that. I'm hoping, that's just, how big is this gonna be? I didn't really think about this, but this is probably a pretty big CSV if I had to take a guess. Let's see, 257 meg compressed. If I extract all, extract, what are we looking at here? Not too bad, I'm gonna bring that up. Um, okay, come on. I don't like having the, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to move it up a column. I'm just gonna move this so it's like more on my head. There we go. Delete that, delete that, paste it. Oh crap. Okay guys, I, I messed that one up. Okay, hold on. Extract all, and then I wanna extract it there. Oh, I saw a gig, it's a gig. Not good, I'm not good at bigger data sets, it's harder. All right, whatever. We'll just, let's just take this and call it, we'll just call it, uh, uh, it's one and a half gig. All right, we'll just, whatever, I'm too lazy. We're just gonna leave it there. Okay, so then we're, we know we're going to need pandas in here. I'm a little worried with how big it is. I'm not the best at big data. I'm more of a median data guy. We're gonna call it data frame pd.read uh, underscore CSV. Uh, where is this at? I'm gonna rename this, just call it data. Data, so it is in the data. I always get my slashes wrong. That could be the wrong way. Don't make fun of it if it is tracking 2020. Okay, and I'm actually just going to run this over here just to experiment with stuff. Oh boy, it's a big data set. Okay, so let, yeah, this is NFL data, yep. Um, this is taking a while to load, and one of the reasons, Robert, what's up, Robert? How you doing? Glad you're here. Um, okay, that took a little while to load, and one of the reasons why that's bad is every time you change something on a Streamlit page, it reloads the data. You can use something called caching to try to um, you know, mitigate that, and it works really easily. I'm gonna have to remind myself how to do that in Streamlit, but once again, I'm just gonna make it slow at first because I'm trying to get the minimal viable product out, okay? So, okay, there's the tracking right here. Um, okay, 
Now, we basically want to choose a few things, right? We want to choose, let's see, what do we want to, what do we even want to choose? We want to choose what game it is. So the first thing we're going to do is select the game, I think, right? Let's see, event, NFL, display name, team, frame ID, play ID. So yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is choose a game ID. So we're gonna choose a game ID first, and then we're gonna choose a play ID. Great video. I don't I didn't know pandas is optimal for larger data sets. It is not optimal for larger data sets. Um, it will work. It is not optimal though. There's probably something we could do to make it more optimal. But once again, I'm focused on minimal viable product. Also, Arash, appreciate you being here. Hope you were well. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is choose a game ID and a play ID with a Streamlit's little down clicker thing. Um, and I can't remember what that's called. So we're gonna go to Streamlit's docs right here. Uh, and we're going to go to the input widget. And it's a drop down or a radio? Let's see what, is, what a radio looks like. Is that? No, we want a select box. Yep, where they're going to click on select. Okay, so this is what the command for a streamlit select box is. But first, I want to actually, I think, well, we'll go minimal viable product first. Okay, so here's the select box. And the thing we want to ask them is uh, what game? So uh, choose your game and <clears throat> I'm just gonna hit save so you guys can see the update up here and what that looks like hold on save ba, ba, ba. oh man something's not looking good why is that taking forever huh oh because it's the data set now Oh, uh, it's gonna be slow. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a way to, to fix it later, but for now, okay, that's fine. And for the DF, you know, for the games, we need to remember what the DF is called, which looks like it is the game capital ID, okay? Now, if I run that inside of here for my choices and add a dot unique to it, that'll have a the game chooser, okay? So I'm going to call that the selected game, okay? The next thing, crap, I need to remember, okay, that's fine. So then, so then the next thing you need to select is the play ID. I mean, they won't know what the play ID is, but they'll just choose one. And I guess that's really where this could come in handy because there's a play ID here. Is there like a cool name for it? No, but there is in plays where you could grab the play description maybe and that would make more sense. Yeah, the play description could be really good. So we probably wanna select the play description, but for now we'll just do the play ID. Time to switch to an R Shiny app. Why are we switching to an R Shiny app? Oh, just for the speed? No, we're not switching to R Shiny. R Shiny is harder, not hard, but harder than Streamlit. We're gonna stick in Streamlit. So, uh, okay, so here it is. We're gonna select the game. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing, but then we're going to um, select the uh, I play, play ID. So choose your play, we'll say, okay? And that is going to be um, DF in the, well, in the play ID. But I'm actually going to filter it beforehand so that it's only the plays that are in the game. So we're going to call this the DF game now, which is equal to the original DF, where the DF in the game ID, game ID, is equal to the selected game. Does that make sense? So we're gonna make a little smaller data frame and make that the options here for the selected play. Okay, so then once we select a play, we're gonna have the DF 
in the play, I think. This is gonna be a little bit of a memory problem, maybe. I'm not making this ideal, but we can always go back and make it better later. So here we're gonna need DF game in the uh, play ID where that is equal to the selected play ID. So now we've narrowed it down so that we only have the DF play, which is the specific play from the specific game, okay? After that, we want to do the animation, I think, is what we want to do. Um, the animation, there's a couple different ways to do it. The best ways to do it is probably with Plotly. So we're probably going to use, let's just search uh, Plotly Animated Scatter. And I'd like to make this a little bit prettier than it is, but we're going to start minimal viable product, okay? We just need the minimal viable product. Okay, so yeah, this is what we're gonna build right here. Pretty dope, huh? Okay, so we're just gonna steal this code, put it into our, um, our code. We're gonna import Plotly here. And instead of using their data frame, we're going to use our own DF play. And the X is going to be, I think X is what it is, right? Tracking 2020, X and Y. All right, Robert says extremely dope. I like that, Robert, I appreciate you. X is equal to X, Y is equal to Y. Animation frame is equal to, now this is interesting. What are we going to use for the animation frame um i thought there was a frame there is the time i don't know if we want to use that or not i don't know how the i don't know what the best scenario is here let's let's just look a little bit let me think i'm doing this all on the fly all right yeah let's use frame id let's use the frame id here frame id now the animation group, that that was country on this one, right? And these are different countries. So I think the group would actually be, in this case, would be the player. Uh, player, or maybe the jersey number? Oh yeah, it could be the display name. Should we make it the display name? Let's let's start easy and we'll make it the make it the jersey number. Well, cuz two players could have the same jersey theoretically. Maybe we'll do NFL ID. Um, let's see. NFL ID. What is the NFL ID? We have to look up here. NFL 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 Where is it? Game data yeah, okay, we'll just do the NFL ID. That's fine. Because that's like their player ID, basically. NFL ID. The size. The color. Okay, the color we're going to do based off of home versus away. Um, which will be like the two different teams, right? I think that's somewhere in here. Yeah, the team right here. We put in team. And let's just get rid of... Let's make the hover their display name, all right? Um, now the that we're gonna get rid of for right now, and the size we're gonna get rid of two for a moment, all right? Okay, hit save. We have minimal viable product here, so we need to double check um, how to get this into Streamlit. So if you go to the API reference and you go to the chart elements and you go to Streamlit Plotly chart, you can see that we created a figure and then put it in here. So let's just do that. Um, we'll call this the the Annie for animation. Annie equals, and then plug in Annie. Okay, this is this could be the end of the project right here. Like theoretically, this could um, this could end the whole entire project. Like we could be done here. Um, we have like another hour to make it nicer. But like theoretically, if you needed to, you could publish this project. I think so. Um, did see some comments. Uh, Rosh said, I have missed 
the projects for 21 days today or for the last 30 days have they been similar to today's final um i mean we've definitely done a lot of projects i haven't done any of them live like this this is like definitely the most in-depth behind the curtain uh scenes that i've been doing and we haven't done any sports since like day eight when i did the nba um, we did build a lot of streamlit apps i think this will be our third streamlit app so that is a little bit similar your color scheme on spider made me think that it was our studio derek what's up hi derek um interesting my our studio color scheme is like white also i missed the beginning what is the goal of this mystery project we're well we chose we chose as a, as a team what project we're making we're trying to make a project that would impress nfl teams so we get hired in the data space in the nfl um do, do, do. sweet quick and dirty version yeah exactly robert that's what we're going for okay i was kind of stalling oh i didn't hit save are you kidding me i was kind of stalling so i could hit save um, because it's going to take a while to load this app. Okay, so we're going to rerun. And it's going to take a while, so I'm just going to let it sit for a second, okay? So we're going to let this sit and uh, see what it looks like. Although it should have reran since then. I'm a little bit worried at the size of this. Oh, we got it, 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 we got it. Hey, hey, oh, you guys can't see. I'm not even showing you guys. Look at, hey, 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 hey. Look at that. We got it built. So we have the football. We have the home team. We have the away team. We have their names. Uh, and we're going to hit play. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. There's a guy coming up. He kicks it. Oh, it's a kickoff. It's a kickoff. They're running down the field. You know, you can see all these different players. Uh, okay, look, he's gonna catch it. He's gonna catch it. Let's see what's happening. Oh, it's a touchback. <laughs> he didn't catch it. Oh, he didn't catch it. Oh man, that's funny. Okay, but hey, that's awesome. And then we can switch to play 600, and, oh, let's switch to different play. Oh, that was a little slow. It is a little bit slow. Let's see, we'll let it load. In the meantime, I'm gonna look. Uh, Austin says his 30 projects are awesome. You have to check him out. Austin, I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, model training. Yes, it is thinking. Um, guys, got to go look at the other project videos. Which projects are the most behind the curtain like this? This is great because he is showing thinking, process, coasting, real nice. Arash, none of them are like this. They're definitely not going to be uh, as, as behind the curtain as this. This is like the most behind the curtain. Um, sweet. Everyone likes it. Womp womp. Looks awesome. So cool. Freaking sick. Woo sweet awesome I'm glad you guys like it so once again I'm just gonna play another cool or another play I can't tell what's happening here oh wait it was already playing that's why hold on so this looks like a punt this looks like a punt formation uh, they have the football they are um, let's see let's see okay there it is there's the football getting hiked it is going to uh, get punted here in a second Let's see, three, two, one. Okay, there's the punt. It's going to the right. You have these guys. I don't know how those guys got here. They didn't even see them. And then you have this guy finally moving. Interesting. Um, so crap. Okay, this is cool. This is very cool. Um, we could be done. Like, honestly, like, we could publish this and we could be done. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to make this, uh, this, uh, this, like, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'm trying to think. What could we do? How do we make this better? The, the fastest ways. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think Derek's probably right. We probably instead of choosing the play, we should probably choose the play type. Well, I don't know. So, like for instance, we could choose kickoffs and plays. Maybe I don't know. Let's think. Yeah, okay. I think we want to do that. I think you're right. I think we want to choose what type of play it is first. So, for example, I don't think we have that information on this one, right? Let's see. Team events. No. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna be on this one. So we need to include the plays ID here. Yep, the plays ID. 
that is going to have the special teams type right here. So we're gonna download this data set. And I actually don't want to be doing the joining every time it's on Streamlit. So I'm actually gonna write a quick script, separate script that's not in the Streamlit app that's going to combine this for us, okay? Because combining does take a little bit of time. It's already a little bit slow. So we wanna do that outside of the, uh, the app. So let's see. So I want to pull this into here. I want to uh, extract all, extract, and I don't know how to get this. I'm just gonna rename this as then I'm gonna pull this plays out of it and put it into the data. Plays, okay, cool. Is that the plays for all of the season? Right, I think it is. Okay, that's fine, we don't really care, I guess. So I can delete this now. Now we're gonna write a new script right here. That's going to be called, let's just call it combine. It is going, and this is where I'm not great, guys. This is where pandas is not awesome. Import pandas as PD. We're going to uh, do plays is equal to PD.read CSV. And what's it called? Is it just called plays? Plays.csv. The other one is going to be called tracking. Set it equal to PD.read CSV. We'll call it tracking 2020.csv. Okay, so that's going to read them in. Okay, I'm gonna run that. Oh, we can't find plays, why not? Oh, cause it needs to be uh, data slash. Data slash, data slash, save, run. My two favorite data people in data science, Avery. Hey, I appreciate that, Arash. That's the receiver and the corner. LOL. Oh, I didn't know that this data set was all special team stuff. Yeah, it's just special team stuff. Uh, Bash. Boscar Reddy says, you are great, man. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. All right, so here's what we need to do. We need to do, we're going to have plays and tracking now, right? And we need to combine them. So oh, this is where I suck and pandas is not as good. We need to do a pandas, basically what's an inner join in SQL, okay? So we need to do an inner join in SQL. And to do that, we're going to do, well, it's gonna be in, Py in pandas though. So pandas merge is what it's called. Let's see. We're gonna do, okay. This is not gonna be pretty. Okay, so on the tracking, so we're gonna call this combined. On the tracking, we are going to do, uh, Merge, which what are we merging? The wait, what? Hold on, hold on. I don't know how this actually works now. I'm not. I'm kind of confused. Yeah. Okay. You pass in the data frame. So we're merging the plays onto the tracking. How is probably equal to inner. Um, left on and right on. Okay. So left on is equal to and right on is equal to um and i don't remember what the where it needs to be i don't know actually hold on crap hold on now i'm now i'm doubting myself plays dot columns so it has to be on the game id and the play id actually i'll explain why here in a second tracking dot columns and over here, this is the game ID and the play ID. Okay, so there's no primary keys in these data sets, actually. And we need to make a primary key. So um, we'll do that right here, where we're going to make uh, primary keys. And the primary key for each of these, in fact, we're just gonna call it primary key. Um, in the, we'll just call it PK for primary key is equal to um, the plays in the game ID plus the plays in the uh, play ID. 
that makes a primary key. And we'll do the exact same thing with the tracking data. Tracking, tracking, tracking. All right, I don't want to rerun at all, so I'm just going to rerun this. Left will be on the PK, and right will also be on the PK. I'm hoping this won't screw things up. There's a chance. There's a chance it does. Okay, let's see. It's gonna be slow because, like I said, it's gonna be hard. Shubham said, "Shall we compare the first play of each season and see how they start off the game?" That could be interesting. Could definitely do that. That's another way to slice it. I think the way I'm slicing it is not off of when, just you choose. Actually, it'd be cool to choose your team first. I don't know, I'm building up to that. You might be right, Shubham, we'll have to figure that out. Dustin says, keep it up, Avery, you're doing great. Derek says, I've gotta use Spider. Yeah, Spider's good. Um, other things than Spider, VS Code is the most famous one, or PyCharm. Our Jupyter Notebook, really, probably, at the end of the day. But they do different things, so. Spider's the best. Unless you're going to do notebooks, use Deep Note. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, so there's combined. It's done. Now, let's look at the first, like, 100 rows. It's, it's huge. You can see this makes me a little bit nervous. So, hold on. This makes me a little bit nervous. So, hold on. Let's look at the length of tracking. Anyone can tell what that number is? 11 million. So this is 11 million rows. The length of combined should not be bigger. Oh, fetch. It looks like it is. See, this is where I don't get merge in pandas. All right, so instead of doing inner, we're going to do left. We're going to try that. Gosh dang it. Let's see if that runs. We, we want the length to be the same or lower for an inner join. That's what I don't get with the inner merge. I don't get that. And maybe I'm using the wrong function. Inner uses intersection. Yeah, it should be. Makes no sense. No sense at all. I've been using Jupyter since I started learning Python after learning R in school, but I'm just realizing how similar Spider is to RStudio. It is very similar to RStudio. Combined is still huge! Oh, why is it so big? The length of combined larger than length of tracking, just to make sure. True. Gosh dang it. I told you things could get a little crazy here, guys. I don't know why it does this. Let's, let's look at join instead. I don't love merge. It kind of scares me. Let's look at join. If any of you guys want to look this up, how to combine two data frames, how to like merge them. Oh, yeah, so it doesn't have left on. What does it have? It has on. We'll just use on. This would be, this is where SQL, it's like, this is what SQL's made for. No suffix specified. Okay, hold on, I think we're getting close. Uh, we'll just add these in. I don't really know if I wanna add these in. Let's see if I can get away with just one of them. Right, suffix, we'll just say is R. Let's see if this works. Okay, I think it's working. I think we're good. Now the question is the the length. Okay, combined. Okay, now that worked. Now, now let's actually make it inner and see if it goes down. Sorry, this is the boring part. See, this is why I didn't do this at first. We got the minimal viable product first. Oh wow, inner sucked. That makes me worried about the left then. 
Oh man, let's check the left. So let's look at, com we'll, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it, we'll just call it uh, preview. We'll set it equal to the combines dot head of the first 100 rows. Preview. Oh yeah, we only got. Oh, we have all these nans. See, fellas, this is not what I wanted. I knew this. This scared me with this big data set inside of pandas when we have to combine. Okay, let's see if I can think of anything else. Let's think. Well, there should be PKs that are equal to each other, right? Let's just let's just check the the plays data set and look at the PKs. Oh, I did just realize something. I actually wanted to put these as strings. No, that should be fine. Um, it should be fine. I'm a little stuck. I'm a little stuck on combining these. Why? The inner didn't look good. The left didn't look good. Let's see. Join columns of another data frame. Join columns with other data frame either on index or on a key column. Okay, let's see the example. So you took the data frame here and you took the other and on, oh, you didn't even say on here, huh? Let's give it a, let's give it a left, let's just delete this. No, I think I need to say on that. Maybe it's at a left, L suffer, F suffix is equal to L. The inner is not working though. That makes me a little bit worried. Yep, not working. Let's try the left. Sorry, this is the boring part of the live, guys. Yeah, merge is always sucky for me. I don't like combining stuff in pandas, but it's important. Let's see if I can find the left here. Sedan says, I'm new to data science. I'm learning lots of things. Watching you go along this project, I imagine how analytical thinking really works in real time world situations. Please keep inspiring. Oh, I'm so glad to say that. Thank you. And yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm not as fast as I would like to be right now. Let's see, preview. It only has, well, yeah, look at all these nans. That's what makes me worried. All these nans. And why would that be the case? Because PK should, it must be have something to do with the PK. You got this, may the force be with you. All right, let's think about, let's, let's, let's first just double, double checking. Uh, let's, let's double check to make sure um, that the, that there's matching primary keys. So uh, um, Python set intersection is what I'm looking for. W3 schools, baby. There, the bomb diggity. Intersection. Okay, yeah, so I wanna first check, I don't know if I can do this with a panda series, but plays pk dot intersection intersection of tracking PK Let's see. series has no yeah uh, let's say uh, maybe of two series we might just have to use set on this let's see Huh. 
Yeah, what if I just use the set of this? Hold on, let's see. So first off, let's use set here. Let's use set here. Run that. Okay, so there's tons, as there should be. So the, prim the primary keys is not the problem. The primary keys is not the problem. It's this stupid tracking. What happens, what happens if we change plays over here with tracking? And we make this an inner again? Is it gonna give me nothing? Nothing. Pandas joining two data frames. Ugh, it makes me so mad. This should be so easy. So easy. You don't want to do that because we're not concatenating them. Um. Not concatenating them. Yeah, thanks for sticking around, guys. I, I'm sorry. Has full featured high performance in memory join? Maybe it's just too big. Or, or maybe I need to try it like this. Let's see if it gives me an example. And that's what I'm doing. So this is exactly what I'm trying to do. This is exactly what I'm trying to do, where it should be on key. It should have A, B, C, and D. Why isn't the inner? You know what? Let's let's just take out the how. Let's take out the how altogether. Let's let let's let it decide how. Let's take out the how. That worked, I think. Nope, bunch of nans. Bunch of stupid nans. Try to subset the data, that would be easier. That's not a bad idea. It's all nans too. Let's get rid of let's let's go back to the plays here, the tracking here. Let's get rid of the these two things maybe. Let's get rid of the how. So it's just gonna look like this left. No, look at look at look at look at look at look at that's using left and right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, X equals PD dot merge, so not starting the data frame, the left and the right, so the tracking and the plays on PK. All right, it's thinking, guys. It's thinking. I'm feeling good about this one. Feeling good. I'm also feeling my stomach. All right, uh, Shubham said, you sure that there aren't replicating data that might be added up twice while the join? There is. Shubham, you're right. I'm pretty sure you're right. I'm pretty sure you're you're right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just check this. Just just check. But I think you're right. X. Oh, <laughs> my sun thing just fell. Okay, uh, preview now. This will have an error still. I think. Oh, it doesn't have an error. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Look, but Shubham, you made me think. Your, your question made me think here. I just want to check. So in plays, you will be unique for every ga game ID and a play ID. Okay. Um, so hold on. Let's make sure. So now there's an X and a Y, for example. This guy's all Dean Marlowe. And all of this over here. Hold on. 
So see how this is just alternating back and forth? I think you could be right. I think there's literally Sanders 65 yards. The play ID here is 39. What is it over here? Play ID. Oh, see, that you're right. Here's the play ID. These are all 40s. Right? Here is the the PK. And then this is getting 39 and 40 over here because the PK, where is the PK over here? Yeah, you're right, Shubham. I made a mistake. Let me think if I can fix the mistake. Yes, you can. It would be on an on a left join of the of plays. No, of tracking. So hold on. So this worked. Let's let's run this up here. This worked. We'll call it combined. We need it to be tracking. Yep, tracking is the bigger one. Plays. Yep. And then the how. Is there a how in here? I'm not sure there's a how on that. Let's see if I can find out. This is this is the confusing part, guys. This is the confusing part. Uh, how do I learn more about pd.merge? Let's just Google that. Merge. Right. See, that, that takes me to the data frame one, though. I don't want to do the data frame one. I want to do the pd, the pd.merge one. All right, I think, um, I think, who said it, Austin? I think Austin's right. We need to make this way easier. So we're just gonna simplify the crap out of this really fast. So we're gonna call this uh, uh, bit big is equal to tracking. And we're just gonna do it in the PK, the tracking dot columns, let's see. The PK, the play ID, and the game ID. Well, and also the, uh, you know what? There's not going to be a primary key on this ever. There's not gonna be a primary key on this because then there's going to be the NFL ID and the frame ID. If you combined all of those, that would be the primary key. So I was, I was underestimating that there. So this would need to be, if we combined the, this, this would have a foreign key though. So then if we take the small and say that's equal to the plays, which is going to have the PK, the play ID and the game ID. Right, and and it'll also have it'll also have something else as well. Um, uh, it'll also have plays dot columns. I want the description, the play description, because there's only one play description. Okay, so then so this is basically what it should like a really minimal part of these data frames would look like this, okay? Then I would, game ID not in the index? How is that not, that's not true. I must just misspelled it, plays.coms. Right? Oh, not capital game under lowercase. Okay, let's try again. Okay, we have big and small. X is going to be, we're going to take the big, we're going to join the small. Okay. Now the problem is there's overlapping names, so we're going to put R suffix is equal to just uh, like that. Oh wait, 
what suffix do you want then? So for the join, so I'm back back to the drawing boards here. Oh wait, I just saw it. Join R suffix. Is that what I'm saying? Oh no underscore. Okay, there's X. And X dot we'll just call it XX equals X dot head one hundred. Okay, that right there looks great. Wait. Right? Because this frame ID, no, it looks terrible. It looks terrible. It looks terrible because there should be multiple play descriptions. And that, that makes, does that make sense? Let's think. So the PK here, thanks for showing me a freaking, ugh, how do I not have that in scientific notation? How do I, guys, I'm really struggling with this. See, aren't you glad that we did this the other way first? These should be repeating each other. For example, these are repeating. But there should be a lot more of these. So it looks like it's only th two, one, two, three, four. And I should have a lot. And the PK there should be equal to the PK here. What is our... Okay, hold on. That could just be... Hold on. Let's try this one more time. Let's sort values by the um, play description. Okay, let's just do dot head of that. Let's see. Hi, Aryan, how's it going? Welcome. I'm struggling right now, I'm troubleshooting. Um, saw some comments. You're probably hungry because all that McDonald's food isn't really food. I missed that. That is hilarious. Oh, man. Let's try this one. No, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. Description is the same, but player IDs are different. That's okay. We want these player IDs to be different. Can I open up big and small? Really, that gonna kill me? Yeah, it's too small. Or too big. Small. Let's see. Let's see. So this PK looks right. And we should just be adding the copy of this column. All right, we're gonna make this. We're gonna make this even smaller, okay? So we're gonna say that big is equal to big, where big in the uh, game ID is equal to, and we're just gonna do one specific one. It looks like 2018. 2018. Zero nine zero six zero 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 and the play ID I am hungry. I need to go eat some food. We're going till two though. And play ID no no and big in the play ID is equal to 37 okay so that should shrink the big down to just one particular play so that should be really short oh and it looks like I typed something wrong sweet 
Okay. The game 2018 zero, 09 zero, 06 zero, zero, zero. Oh, we might have we might have a hold on. We might have an issue here. Tracking dot head 100. Let's see. We'll just call that X, X. No, I don't know. We'll call it M. What is this? So let's go play ID 40. Okay. So we know we know play ID is equal to 40. And we know that the game ID is 2021 zero 01. 2021 01 0300. So if I rerun both this, big is empty. What? 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 I mean, what? What if I what if I change this to tracking? So let's change this to tracking. Tracking. And tracking. Nothing. This is this is the problem. Hold on, we're about to find it. Hold on, we're about to find it. We're about to find it. We're about to find it. What is this value? What? That makes no sense. What? How do I make this more simple? Let's just do this. So this should take it. This should be taking. Okay, that worked. So this is all of one game. If I set this equal to. And this exact same thing is true. All right, let's go inside the parenthesis. And the play ID, and the play ID. Okay, so I got stuff there. What is, what is the game ID in the zeroth? What about the play ID? Those are both integers. Okay, so if I go back over here and I say it's equal to this and it's equal to 40. Oh, I did I did miss a parenthesis here. I did miss a parenthesis. That could have been it. Okay, so yep, we only have this particular play ID and this particular game ID with all these different frames. Okay. Okay. All these different frames. And then I have small. And I want to do, um, and small is fine. I want to do big dot join small okay uh, r suffix equals to r okay let's call this something like it's q no how how is it getting okay so let's let's just redo that one more time we're going to call it on PK. And now we're back to the NANDs. 
Now we are back to the Nans. But we know that small should have, if we look at big in the PK in the zeroth, and we look at small in the PK in the zeroth, those are not the same. Okay, well, yeah, actually, that makes sense. That, that actually makes sense because we're actually looking, okay, hold on, let's do small. So small is equal to small where the small in the, uh, actually this, this exact same logic up here works for small too. So I'm just gonna take that, plug it in here, but it's gonna be where the small name ID in that. And so that should make small a one line thing. And it is. Okay, so here's small. And here's big. And small and big should have the same PK. Ready? This is the test. Small PK in the zeroth. Okay, that kind of makes sense because we didn't reset the index on either of these. Dot reset index drop equals true. Add that over here as well. Rerun all of this. And what we want to see is if they're equal to each other. So does small in the PK uh, in the zeroth, is that equal to big in the PK in the zeroth or no? Those should be equivalent to me. Double check. Okay, it is true. And so if we do that Q again, where we're gonna join big on small on PK, I'm actually gonna, can I delete that one? Delete. Let's just remove it to make sure it doesn't have any bias. Q, it's not gonna work. I'm getting NANs. I'm out of ideas, guys. I'm just gonna try random things. Maybe I'll just try the, the PD one more time. It worked. That looks right. That is right. Okay, so how come it doesn't work if I were to do QQ, for example? Q1, I guess. That should be tracking right here, and that should be plays. And it's gonna be a name issue, right? Or is, is it because there's multiple columns the same? Well, there was in the other one too. Uh, I gotta preview that. Let's just do preview um, is equal to Q1 where Q one in the game ID is equal to whatever I'm putting down here. 
so that it'll be a, enough information. Sorry guys, I know this got kind of boring. I'm not doing two tomorrow, Jeff. That's, I'm, I'm publishing as is. Preview. That's working. That's working. We're good. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh, that sucked. That sucked so bad. Okay. Now we're just going to do Q1 to CSV. Q1 to CSV. Uh, CSV. We're just going to call it combined.csv. Saving it as a CSV. And then I'm going to try to. Uh, I don't know what. I don't even know how that's working. What is it even combining on? Because it could combine on game ID, it could combine on play ID. It doesn't even know to go off. I think it's working though. Okay. Okay, well. I think it's working. I'm not actually entirely sure. That was really confusing. Really frustrating, to be honest. So sometimes it is frustrating. Um, we know that instead of reading in app.py over here, instead of reading in tracking, we're just going to read it in something called combined. Um, instead of choosing the game ID, what do we want to choose instead? Did we, we still didn't get the, uh, we're still choosing the game ID. Oh my gosh. That sucks. Oh well, that's what, how it's gonna be for right now. So we're gonna do the game ID and we're just, we're just acting, putting in an extra select box here where we're going to choose the play type. Selected play type. Um, choose your play type and that is going to be the preview the, the discrete no no what is it gonna be right there special teams no not results right here the special teams play type special teams play type okay and then Let's see, so we filter it each time. So this is gonna be DF game, right? Yeah, so you choose your game, go here. Then we're going to filter the DF play type, which is going to be the, this exact same code right here. But we are going to set it equal to the play type right here and set the DF game to that. Okay, then we're going to choose your play Instead of doing the play off of the play ID, I'd like to do it off of that cool name that we just got, the play description. So it's going to be play description, and it's actually going to be DF play type instead of DF game. That's true here, that's true here, where the play description is equal to the play ID. And then we're doing the exact same thing. So all of that to add, one extra select and two to add the play description. I don't know if that was worth it, but we did it, okay? I'm gonna hit run just to make sure it runs, no errors. And then we're gonna see the app. And then I'm already going to, um, we already need to publish this on GitHub so we can get it done. Let's see. Okay, um, well, it's not running very quickly. So let's just go ahead and create the GitHub for it already. I'm gonna do it the fast way, the lazy fast way. Um, we're gonna call this the Big Data Bowl 2022.
create repository. We're going to upload some existing files. Those files are going to be the whole thing, I guess. Oh, this data might be too big. I didn't think about that. Oh. Okay, let's just see. Okay, this ran, right? Okay. We are hitting low memory. It's a little scary. All right, let's just refresh this whole thing. Pray it works. The data the data set is big and GitHub doesn't like that. Cause yeah, how big is that? Is that three gigs? Oh, we're screwed. Three and a half gigs. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, that's not gonna work. We can't upload three gigs to the browser. <sighs> okay, there's one option we have. There is one. There is one option we have, and that is to get rid of the, some of the columns. That that could work. So, for instance, we could just run df equals pd dot read csv combined dot csv. Read that in. Call it df, and let's just get rid of some of the columns. You can see it's so slow. Oh, it worked though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're still selecting our game, not the way I would like to. Let's look at punts. Why also did that? Uh, this should be choose your play, play type. Oh, this is so slow. I ruined it, guys. I ruined it. Okay, I don't have time to fix this the way I would like to right now. A project's better finished than unfinished, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're just gonna go back to what I had an hour ago. That is the sad truth of it all. I'm just gonna control Z. Because at least it worked the other way. That was terrible, terrible, terrible. This is rerun. Not great. Ugh, but at least it'll be done. That's all we care about. We're also gonna need a requirements on this. No, we're only using pandas and plotly, so I think it'll run by itself. Let's see if this runs, and then I guess while it's loading, we can just run all of this up here. Put that in here. So we got, let's see, Yowza, that's a big file. Try again. Ah, shoot. Ah, crap, because Streamlit requires GitHub and GitHub can't host the data set. Right? I I think that's what's happening. Yep. Crap, we are in issues. Can you just add the data to a cloud provider, even Google Drive? Yeah, it's just more work. Yep, we're gonna have to do that really quickly. Um, yeah, we can use Google Drive. So, no, I, then you have to authenticate. I wonder if we can just read, can you read CSV from Kaggle Pandas? Do, do, do. You might need the API to do that. Um, how to read CSV URL and Pandas. I guess we can go here, uh, click on this. 
I don't think he can. Because I don't want to make an authentication with Google Drive. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else I could just dump this. We can trim the data. That's an option. Uh, place to dump big CSV. Let's see if I can just figure it out. Oh no. How to dump the pandas, how to open very large. Okay. Um, let's see how easy it is to just use Drive. Open CSV from Google Drive. All right. Did I not put pandas in there? I didn't. Okay, hold on. This 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 could work. Dropbox. Okay, hold on. I think I think this will work. I think this will work. We just need to go drive. Dump the the tracking here. Okay. That's taking a while. And then just make it public and then using that public URL. I think that could work. Gosh, this was a fun last hour. Thanks guys for sticking around. Shout out to Shubham and Jeff. Uh, stoked for you guys to be here. Uh, let's see, Jason, I appreciate your help. Everyone else who's here, you guys were awesome. I'm sorry this took so long. Um, it was not fun for me either, if that makes it feel any better. Share anyone with this link can copy okay we're gonna go here and instead of reading this we're gonna call it the G Drive right that's sharing and then let's just steal that code that we saw right here URL is equal to the ID Okay, we're just gonna do this. Ready? Plug that in. Uh, this is the new URL right here. URL. Okay, run this really quickly and see if it works. Pray to the Python gods. That seems so fast. Did not work. I knew it was too good to be true. Dang it. Is this still going till two? I mean, it's gonna go past two at this point. It's going till I finish it. Oh, look at this is the same problem we had in Streamlit. That's what we just did. This, that's what we just did, right? I'm just gonna recopy this. Put it down here. Let's see. Oh, gotcha. You're in a different time zone. Why is that just like. Wait, am I blind? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm not blind. That did not work. Why do people say that works? Did I get the wrong link? Uh, oh, it's a viewer. Maybe I'll make them an editor. Hold on. Copy link. 
That sounds dangerous to just be putting this. I'm gonna give this to the public. That's the same freaking thing. Um, you know what? Hold on. I wonder if we just, what happens if we were to just take first little bit well I guess actually I should look at what this does right here that takes that crazy thing okay so that just gets rid of it and sets the download to that so what is what is path and if I plug in path into my computer in my browser what happens That worked. I wonder if the scan for viruses thing is causing an issue. That's not working. All right, let's try one more. Let's try one more thing. Unreliable. I don't want to use the Google service account. The joys of Python, LOL. Yep, not good. Sweet ad. Close. Ah, stop! Don't give me viruses. I wonder if this would work better. Let's just try this. Stop. Stop. I can't even get it. Paste it. It's going to give an error because it doesn't know what request is. Yeah, this virus. Oh my gosh, guys. I hope you guys appreciate that I'm getting viruses on my machine for this right now. Okay, I just need to change this to the path. No, it doesn't work either. So how do you read a CSV? How I could zip it and unzip it maybe. Uh, can pandas read zip CSV? Okay, maybe I, what happens if I zip this again? Uh, does anyone know how to zip in Google or whatever this is? I mean, it came zipped, huh? I'm such a dummy. I'll just zip it again. Uh, zip it again, zip it again, zip it again, zip, 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 zip. Tracking. I wonder if you can just read this. I wonder how big this is. We need to just see if that can go on here. 
tracking. Can I go in there? Yowza, that's a big file. Okay. Anything else I can try? Um, streamlets, too big file. Uh, let's see. Config options. Okay, I'm about out of ideas for right now. The only option would be taking what Shubham said and just making it smaller. That's our only option. So we'll do it. No. Should we do it or not? I'm not really too stoked on doing that. All right, no, okay, ah, I can't decide. You know what, we're just gonna, we're just not gonna deploy to Streamlit right now. It just will not be a live application. It'll just be a desktop app for right now. So let's just make sure this runs. And that's, you know, you get so far sometimes and we'll just have it not be live and that's life. That is life, so. I'm gonna delete these, and we'll just we'll just put up the animation code. Make sure this works. Can't say we didn't try. Okay, well, we're back to where we started an hour ago. <laughs> oh man, well, I hope you guys appreciated uh, that adventure. Yeah, sorry it didn't turn out the way we had really hoped it would. Um, at least we have something, you know, that we could show. It sucks that uh, we didn't get it published, but you win some, you lose some. Um, two hours is what I have time for this project today. I don't have time to do more. So this is really fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for following the uh, 60 days challenge or 30 days challenge. I hope we don't do 60 days. Uh, appreciate all you guys being here. If you guys haven't checked out uh, Project Studio, check out Project Studio. And uh, I appreciate all you guys for, for being here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, end this stream, but thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate all you guys. Pretty easy to do on AWS. Yeah, but then I have to do authentication and stuff like that. I don't wanna do that. And I also don't wanna have my keys. I, I give everyone the code for free. I don't want my keys on, on the internet. I guess I could upload, have the keys in a file, not upload the file. Um, but, oh, Ken's just tuned in. Well, Ken, you missed uh, an hour of me just troubleshooting, but hey, let's show, let's show Ken what we made. We'll show Ken. We, we, we took on a challenge from the big data bowl where you can choose a game and you can choose a play and it'll pop up the animation here at the bottom. So super funny. That is, uh, hilarious that you just showed up. Hey, but thanks for being here, Robert. Thanks for being here, Alejandro, Jason, Shabam. Jeffrey, uh, Razikata, thanks for being here, guys. I hope you guys had fun. Here's what we built over here, Ken. Couldn't couldn't get it to de deploy to Streamlit the way we wanted to because of file sizing. Basically spent the last hour doing crazy stuff. Um, anyways, kind of crazy. Uh, kind of crazy experience. I've got to run and eat some lunch. My brain is not really thinking very well. So appreciate you guys being here. We'll talk later. Bye.